मैं बन की चिड़िया बन के बन बन बो मैं बन की पंछी बन के सन सन दो बन बन बो मैं डाल डाल उड़ जाऊं बिन पकड़े कभी नाऊ तुम डाल डाल मैं पात पात बिन पकड़े कभी न छोड़ू सन सन विधानसभा ऑफ अकरबाइट विलेज पुरुलिया इट बिलोंग टू ए डिनोटिफाइड ट्राइब एंड डिनोटिफाइड ट्राइब्स ऑल ओवर इंडिया दे आर वेरी मच अप्रेस्ड tortured hounded by police budan was a fantastic handicraft man very happily married three kids he was aged about 27 28 on 10th february 1998 budan was just taken to the local police station and the officer in charge i'll refer to him as oc oc ashokray was a brute he killed so many shabars including women what happened from 10th to 16th february this oc kept budhan in that police station lock up he framed him on a dacoity charge which was never proved and beat him round the clock police had so many methods of beating scars do not so wounds do not so they you know wrap them with a blanket and kill them uh, beat them systematically this is known as kambal dholai that night he was in a crowded cell he told another shabar sridhar shabar that he has been beaten mercilessly he doesn't think he will survive what will happen to his wife and children things like that next morning budhan he was absolutely in no position to move he was asked by the jail warders to come out and sweep the big jail yard somehow he dragged himself there then he screamed they are killing me please save me they surrounded him and went on beating him on the head on 18th morning the telephone came budan is dead police wants to cremate him they would have burnt him but somehow some of the people got the news they went there with budan's wife and all and after a big fight with police brought the body back to his village the women literally dragged his body and dug up budan's own heart they buried budan and covered it with earth then budan's wife slept on that on behalf of postimbanga khediya sabar kalyan samiti i filed a public interest litigation case with calcutta high court on 23rd immediate order went to purulia to exhume the body and second post mortem in between what the sabar said done and the samiti people together since police was insisting on burning him they made a with straw made a dummy of budhan and burnt it so police was convinced the body has been burnt then police came district magistrate came body was exhumed post mortem done everything the case started and that day i sat on the floor and waited because there are so many denotified tribes all over india i have not thought about them by july you got the judgment the high court or judge ordered west bengal government to pay the wife 1 lakh rupees compensation and punishment and these things for other officers things like that but after filing the case i had gone to baroda that night me ganesh and lakshman spent the night talking next day we invited the press and announced the foundation of dnt fight our journal of dnt rag started coming out it was named budhan this is budhan story which story is still continuing tribal mistrust about diku it dates back long ago you must remember ramayan is written of a period when they are entering the forest regions the tribal regions for the first time 
Why Mahabharata? It has got very well organized. Moneylenders yeah. entered, mm. British introduced land system entered their lives. Why did Santal withdraw? Uh, Santal rebellion take place? One for thing is that Babu a Akbar wish bowl for one say twenty because they would lend them say five shares of in the, the, that time's measure paddy. He has to return twenty shares. So they come after harvest, a big bullock cart loaded with paddy, which must be hundreds of shares. The moneylender, come merchant, he takes all the, he says, it's not 20, it's 18, it's 19, it's never 20. So they said, Babu Akbar Bishwu just once uttered the word 20. So, Babu's never uttered the word 20. That's why Santal Rebellion took place. Now you see, showers do not have one handful of dust. No land for them. All these dams and industries being built. Tribal land is always, they are evicted from tribal land.